So that's some good news for you tonight. I'm Glenna Milberg reporting live at Miami Dade College North on a very windy night. <laughs> Local 10 News. <laughs> Might be the best news of all. The winds have changed. We'll call that, Glenna. Thanks a lot. All praises to the Most High Yahweh, Heavenly Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Earthly Mother, sanctifying Yahweh Shai, the Holy Son. Brothers and sisters, Jews and Gentiles alike, welcome. This is your humble servant, uh, Big Levi. And uh, today is Wednesday, March the 10th, 2021, and uh, it's currently 10.40 p.m. Today marked the 39, 39th days of the, our 40th days for fasting. <coughs> All right. Brothers and sisters, I took a little break, uh, uh, three days, well, barely three days, uh, two days of break because the most I had me study and I stumbled upon some pretty good stuff for the family. So I'm not quite sure if this is that thing recorded. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, all right, it does, it does. Now, um, what you just saw here is just the people, the so-called Gentiles, and, and, you know, the unyielding one. This was recorded today at Florida and things like that. Now, um, uh, let me see. I am not, let me do this. Yes, this is, uh, is this better? All right. Uh, I'm not going to put uh, the full screen again because it it, it takes too much data. Now those people, I just watched the 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 video uh, of the beloved brother Big Judah just upload uh, the Gentiles, <clears throat> the future for the Gentiles. So bright, they need to they need sunglasses if you believe the news report. So this is the news report right here. You see, she was smiling. Oh, those those are. Let's watch it again. Let's watch it again. Being lowered much more. He says that the uh, vaccine might be available to every Floridian literally in a matter of weeks. So that's some good news for you tonight. I'm Glenna Milberg reporting live at Miami-Dade College North on a very windy night. <laughs> Local 10 News. <laughs> yeah. Might be the best news of all. The winds have changed. We'll call that, Glenna. Thanks uh, oh, a lot. Oh, yeah. See, see, th those are good news and vaccine is available. Now, look at how those people are tripping over their feet, you know, to, to get this vaccine. Remember, brothers and sisters. Okay, I was watching. Let me see if uh, Dabu Seven still have that crap that he just put, because those people they like to do they like to do scumbag stuff. They like to say something and then go back onto it. They say this thing was going to be forced upon people. Uh, Jacob Strobel, you're going to be dragged out of shout out to LAIO right here. Uh, you're going to drag out of your house and things like that. I can find it. I can find it. It was right there though. It was right there. Okay. All right, I can't find it. Mm, all right, well, it's not, it's not there. It was right there. So now, brothers, remember what those people said. They said first, they're going to be raptured. The camp said first, before this mark of the beast is coming, which is the vaccine, because that's what they said. Okay, you know, we know damn well that's not what that is. Now, um, they coming over there. Oh, oh, this and that and this and that. Now, let's watch, brothers. If this thing is being forced upon people. Live team coverage, Glenna. You know, Nicole, for anyone who might be hearing this is a free for all today, it is not. There was a deluge of people, of rain also, but the people who came here today teach us a lesson, and that is if you are not eligible to get a vaccine, do not come and try to get one. And it now, what she is saying here is just there's so many people running to go get this thing because they think like by getting this everything going to go back to normal they'll be able to party and stuff now you'll see those people you'll see those type of people you'll read them to their spirit and those people think like the a vaccine can can stop the beloved father the heavenly father rage and justice okay you cannot stop genesis 15 14 since uh, genesis 15 13 is fulfilled and genesis 15 14 say also that nation whom they shall serve will i judge and fathers judging you to the 10 plagues of the apocalypse of abraham so now this is one of the um <clears throat> the plague and plague and eight pestilence this is one of the plague so now you see those people are aligning those are the people that want things to go back to normal brethren and if you are, there are plenty of places to do so. From early morning, we are asking the FEMA guy that at least release the rules today. 
See, they these guys not eligible. Felipe Espanol. Uh, okay, this guy's uh, he asking the FEMA guy. So, but it, this it, look at the eye when he here. This is a FEMA guy. Remember, brothers, the camp said we were going to be dragged out of our house. And now, look at this dude. Obviously, you read him to the spirit. He's not one of us. This guy is running. He almost, he, he looked like he was about to cry. He's not eligible to get the vaccine. Those people are running to FEMA. Instead of FEMA chasing them, they are running to them. What the hell kind of prophecy is this? Which showed you the most I flipped the script on them. Because that's what they were preparing for. They were preparing to go ahead and over there and then force this, this scumbag stuff upon us. Now you got those people asking FEMA, hey man, help us, help us, give us this stuff. And this is what they did to them. Because we are already here. Too late afternoon. I'm coming to see if, uh, if I can put the vaccine. So you're not sure that you're eligible? I'm not sure. Those who came to game the system, take a shot at a shot without eligibility, created these lines of cars, lines of people gumming up an otherwise flawless mass vaccine logistics. They pulled me out of line because I had my, my letter and they, they let me go ahead. So now some of our people, they are sending them a letter and say, okay, well, you know, you're a senior, so you are el eligible uh, to get this. I believe uh, the age, they drop it to 60 or 55 or something like that. So now you got young people in their 20s, young people in their 30s, and then, you know, they are coming over there. The young people in their 40s and 50s, they are coming and they are not eligible and they are pissed off. Guess what's going to happen in the middle of this? The eligibility rules have not changed. The criteria amplified here on electronic billboards by handheld notices. Where did you drive from? From Fort Lauderdale. And a bigger question, why only here with walk-up sites in so many neighborhoods? What we are discouraging strongly is people that are driving from other areas, other counties. Someone who waited on these lines for five hours today might have driven 25 minutes to that's the thing. Now you got people waiting five hours. None of those things were in the prophecies, but brothers. They never did say people were going to wait five hours and, and, and to, to get this vaccine. They said you were going to be dragged out of your house. Okay, you are going to be forced, you're going to choose to say, okay, are you going to choose this more, this thing? Uh, because you won't be able to buy and go to school and, uh, you know, party and stuff like that if you don't take this. And then if you don't, if you say no, they will kill you. Okay. And well, they say, well, I, not really. They say, like, okay, well, you want to take this or white Jesus? Well, which one you want to serve? I want to serve white Jesus. Yeah, well, well, then if you want to serve white Jesus, I'm going to kill you. Because this is the same type of garbage they came well feeding. They just take it and then they put those, they put the same spin on it. Okay. It's just a, it's a hot steamy, uh, hot steaming pile of chocolate they just put sprinkle this or uh, a little you know sugar on top of it you still had steaming chocolate so let us move it to overtown where we found no weight at all so this was a pretty easy experience yes how far did you come from i come from cora gable do you so those people this is uptown right this is our community this is our people there and <clears throat> excuse me the line is basically empty because one, our people really don't want this thing and it's not in their spirit to go take it, you know, and, uh, and then again, they gentrify the neighborhood. So now you got those people coming from the rich. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, the most is a master chess player. You got those people coming from the rich neighborhood and then they come in uptown, man. They come in uptown, uptown uh, 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 Florida. This is, uh, like, let me see. Um, uh, let me let me see if we can if we can pull this. All right, quick. Uptown Miami. Uptown Miami around Miami. Sure. Okay, at least of neighborhood. Okay, so uptown is like is like uh you know so it's our neighborhood. Uh, this is uh, Miami, Florida, and I stay. Many of the cities. Wait a minute. Where's uptown? Uh, I gotta go all the way in you. Is that what that is? Ah, uh, no. Overtown. Overtown. Did I say uh, uh, uptown? It's overtown. <laughs> yes, overtown in Little Haiti, Little Havana, Little Haiti, and uh, um. Uh, so they gentrify Little Haiti. So okay, they kick uh, most of the uh, Haitian over there. So um, they 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 kick them out and they took it over. There's a video of that on there. Okay, overtown. So 
Other town <clears throat> is a neighborhood of Miami, Florida, United States, just northwest of downtown Miami, originally called Colored Town. You know why this was called Colored call, Town? Doing Jim Crow. Because it was another, uh, um, uh, that town over there, another was, uh, was bought, <clears throat> Uh, another Black Wall Street, excuse me, because it was another thriving Black Wall Street town. Guess what they did? They built those things over it. They built the 95 over it. They came in the burn. They they killed the people, the, the people that was living over there, okay? Um, uh, in the late 19th through the mid-century, the area was once the pre preeminent and it's the historic center for commerce in the black community in Miami and, so, and, and South Florida, okay? It is currently bound out anyway. So, uh that was like uh um that was like another black wall street that we had okay our people had so they they destroyed they built their uh they built on top of the ley line because the the uptown is uh, over town is loaded with ley line now you got those people coming in the hood okay they're coming in the hood to take this vaccine because there's no line there driven 25 minutes to overtown where we found no weight at all so this was a pretty easy experience there's no weight yes how far did you come from i come from coral gables do you live nearby no no i'm actually up from Broward. Uh, Broward. Availability yeah. of vaccine so, in South Florida is on the increase with yeah. a ramp up from the federal suppliers and eligibility. See, they got no, our people is not running and trip themselves to go take this thing. In fact, they, they stay away from it. Now you got those people traveling far from, from afar to go get this and over town where it's a town, brothers. Only, it's, it's just like 99% of the people that stay in there is our people. I used to do business in Overtown. I keep telling Overtown, uh, Uptown, like Brooklyn. Let me see, Uptown, New York. I used to, uh, you know, live in Brooklyn. And let me see. Okay, Uptown, uh, New York. According to Wikipedia, Upper Manhattan is the most northern region of the New York City borough of Manhattan. Yeah, I keep confusing the two, but it's Overtown. Okay, so what? Well, oh, all right, then we'll get to that. So, whoa, whoa, is something recording right here? Ah, it is recording. Let's go, brothers. He is about to increase to the age lower to 60 on Monday, per the governor. And so, we're going to do that on Monday, and then we'll lower the age to 55 in due time. Okay, somebody says 60, somebody says 55. So after right. Monday, there is no exact day projected, but the governor says for every five-year age bracket that the vaccine availability is lower, that's about two, uh, a little less than two million people, and it depends how many of those come and get it. But when you Look listen to him smile. talk with the federal vaccine the supply confidence. coming in, much more and with the ages being lowered much more yeah. he says that the uh vaccine might be available to every floridian literally in a matter of weeks so that's some good that's news for you tonight i'm glenna news. milberg reporting live at miami-dade college yeah. north on a very windy night <laughs> with the local 10 news <laughs> might be the best news of all the winds have changed we'll yeah. call that glenna thanks a lot that's right. uh -huh. yeah as if the most is as simple as you people as if the most are gonna sit there and say, Oh, jeez, I thought they were going to be scared. Talking about this, brothers, let us check. Uh, you know, let's see here. So, all right, so, um, well, this the other like uh, 29 million over a thousand people dying a day, half a million there. So, um, let's see, the United, uh, the United Kingdom is over 125,000. So, uh, all right, let's see. Uh, 300. Uh, okay, see, uh, this is where it dropped right there. It dropped 356. Then it goes up 368. It goes up 384. It goes down 380. It goes down again. So it's up and down before we reach what we what we pass right here see that's why they did the same thing in march up and down we won't like march this is march 10th on march 6th last year 2020 um 2800 cases march 7 3000 cases march 8th still 3000 cases go down it was a uh, 3007 3735 march 9 okay it's going up it's going it's going up march 13th and after march 13th and that's it keep going up 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 and which is peak like in 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 october is that what that is nope it reaches peak and uh 
January. Okay, so that's what that is. But there's a lot of people dying to this, okay? This is the templates of the apocalypse of Abraham. Let us move into the next. Yeah, that's right, Brad. That fire uh, went up very quickly. I want to show you exactly where it was. Uh, so back there in the annex of the church, that's where the fire started. There was a roof on top of that building that all fell down uh, a little bit ago, uh, but it used to jut up about five feet above, and that's where firefighters were really attacking the fire tonight. But they say right now they don't know how it started. The church at the corner always felt like part of Danny Larson's home and mission. It's heartbreaking. It's just, it's, I can't believe how fast that, that place went up. He used to play there as a kid living across the street. Even See, that's what the Mosa is doing to those people. He's taking the memories, the things that they were fond of. Okay, the dainties of life, he's taking them away. This guy could not believe how fast that, well, the barrier was moving. But we know this, this is the second plague of the apocalypse of Abraham, fiery conflagration of the city. So, yeah, that's what that is. Even though he wasn't a member. I couldn't imagine losing my church. I couldn't even imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watched. yeah, yeah you could not imagine losing your church, can you? <laughs> Brother, be ready. Those people are not ready to what's coming there. They think this is a joke. You're not ready. I couldn't imagine losing your church. No, can you imagine losing your life? <laughs> no. Let us move in. From outside, as flames rose from the annex, filling the neighborhood with a thick smoke. We actually saw a little bit of the smoke billowing, billowing out from the roof um, initially when it was still daylight. Brandy Andrews says the fire department arrived within minutes. They've done a great job in kind of containing it to yeah, that building yeah, yeah man this is what this is how gentiles think they do a great great job so, what the building already burnt down oh it could have been worse yeah no hitch man <laughs> i mean of course not you know so whatever man so let's move to the next this happened march 5th you know it's been a while i haven't done any video but those things will keep happening it's just like you know most had me rested a little it out then they hit a six inch line that sparked the fire kprc 2's bill barajas live from the scene so bill right, do we know more than 24 hours after an explosion in northwest harris county some people are finally able to return to their homes and repairs still underway as we reported a comcast contractor hit a two inch gas line center point checked it out then they hit a six inch line that sparked the fire kprc 2's bill okay. barajas live all right so You've seen this a lot, a lot of explosion, gas explosion, you know, the barrier is heavy in the midst of them now, you know. So let's see what this woman is saying. It looks like they've got it under control. Carol Labonte has lived here for about 11 years. She says a scene last night was a first, one she hopes to never have to relive. Again, again, Brudgeon, it's just all those things that those people are seeing. It's just this is the first time they ever seen this. Listen, I used to do this job. Uh, it's called uh, egg, egg, uh, oh boy, let me see. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Hydrovacking excavating. Okay. Badger daylighting hydrovac truck. Uh, yeah. I was trying to get a job with Badger, but I, I could never. So um, the safest way to do it is to use uh, those hydrovac trucks. So they suck up like um, giant. Uh, um, they they suck up like uh water so um so what happened is uh this uh, it, this is a giant vacuum and you use water to cut up the earth and then it suck up the mud so you won't hit uh those things and it's 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 pretty dangerous so that that's uh i believe that's enough dakota right here i used to, that's called trenching it's just trenching over here i used to work in uh north dakota i used to drive those truck i used to do this it's a pretty um dirty job but it's a very serious job and somewhat safe now this is the way brothers you know sucking the water but when you use a backhoe okay show me a picture of a backhoe Okay, a buckle to to dig. This is this is not good. You're gonna hit a pipe and then it's going to spike. Boom, fire. With the water that you're spraying with the uh, hydrovac truck, it's not uh, going to uh, uh, do this. So talking about buckle, let's check what we have here. There's a buckle, uh, a video of a a buckle, uh, buckle crush winner. Oh well. 
And I didn't want to bring that, brothers, but anyway, you have to see how the most New video work, tonight okay? is shedding light on the death of a woman near a construction site in Brooklyn. Take a look. You see 61-year-old Estelle Davis okay. walking across New this. Lots look Avenue this. Friday in East New York. This. this backhoe, look, look right there, backs into this. her and then hits her in the head with a shovel. We're freezing that video right before. Okay, all right. It, it, when she's doing, she says shovel. It's that that uh, crane thing here over there. So not only those things are very loud, and those guys when they are backing in, they don't back up like that. They always look. I'm pretty sure this guy look. Okay, this woman is working. Backhoe, look like, right see? there. Backs into her and then hits her in the head with a shovel. We're freezing that video right before it happens. Neither the driver nor a nearby worker appear to notice. That's the thing. He backed up onto her brother's near construction site. So many people there. Nobody seeing anything until later, later, later. And then somebody like, wait, there's somebody die here. And then they... they look at the camera then now they see the backhoe then runs over her police initially thought davis may have been hit by a car no charge that's the thing they didn't even know what happened they thought a car hit her until they review the uh, uh um the the thing until they review the um the surveillance the, the the cameras over there okay we know we know it's the ley line and developing right here at noon firefighters battling the flames after a fire erupted in a warehouse Sky 10 capturing the scene this morning in Northeast Miami Dade. Let's go now to local 10 news reporter Annalise Garcia. She's live at that scene as investigators try to figure out exactly what caused it. Do they have any clues, Annalise? Good afternoon. Well, the fire is officially out and firefighters are now inside the building. You can see there are still several units here. At one point, there were about 20. So Miami Dade Fire Rescue tells us it seems like the fire started in the back of the building, but the cause is still unknown. At approximately six this morning, we got a call for a warehouse fire. A building with warehouses engulfed in flames. This is our livelihood that's now up in flames. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue working tirelessly to put this fire out. It took us a little while to get it open. Once we got it open, we could tell that the fire was pretty advanced already and had been burning for a while. Uh, crews went interior to try to fight the fire, but after a while, we had to go defensive. Sky 10 caught images of the fire growing and thick smoke erupting from the building. Now, you've seen this many times. A lot of those warehouses are catching on fire. So you've seen this. And people, you know, again, like, yeah, I smell insurance money. Yeah, yeah, whatever, man. Yeah, yeah, everything is, everything is insurance money, man. That's not what that is, man. Let's move to the ley line, man. Thanks, Rob. We want to get right to some breaking news from the live desk. A driver crashes into a front porch. This is on Wentworth right near 102nd and difficult to see with this close up angle. But there you go. As we zoom out, car is upside down. It looks like it flipped after hitting the porch. Waiting to hear back if anyone was injured in this, but very uh, crazy look on the south side right now. Again, right. Yeah, because <sighs> if. <laughs> Oh boy, my mom is crashing the dishes in the kitchen. If I can count how many times a car crashed into a house, brother, right now, if I can get a hundred dollars right now, I would be able to buy a brand new house. <laughs> Let us move to the next video. Lord Lauderdale with how the victim is being remembered tonight. Sinella. Calvin and Nicole Neosha Drayton was struck by not one but two hit and run drivers and everyone stopped to render any aid or to see if she was okay. Her mom and sister created this makeshift memorial that you see directly behind me. They are searching for answers and hoping that the people responsible come forward. She's a very protective sister, a very loving sister, very loving daughter. Neosha Drayton's mother and sister are remembering their loved one, leaving balloons and flowers at the scene of where she was so brutally killed by two hit and run drivers. Wow. Brothers, listen, it's just this happens so much, so often that you will just sit there and act like this is random. It's not. This is not a random act. How long are you into this? Oh, 24 minutes. Okay, this is not random, brothers, okay? Okay, this poor baby boy, my condolences. Horrible and tragic story. I give sincere condolences. This is how Gentiles were, okay? Uh, I couldn't hit a dog in the street. Brothers, 
I'm I'm gonna go as far as saying that the people that hate her, I don't know. Let's let's finish watching the video because I I, ne I never hate. Her. I would have said the people that hate her didn't see her because the, we now see how the lane line rendering people somewhat invisible to others. I just happened. I don't know, but I know she'll be missed very bad. That's my first born, and I loved it very much. BSO investigators say Drayton was hit by a car along the 600 block of Northwest 31st Avenue in unincorporated Broward County shortly after midnight Saturday. That driver never once stopped to see if Drayton was okay. After that person took off, she was then hit by a second car, which also left the scene. To just leave her in the street, you know, we can't even have a, a, a open casket. We can't even say goodbye. See, that's how horrible that is. They can't even say they can't even see the victim. That that's how that's how horrible that is, brothers. You know, this thing is no joke. People think this is a joke. This is not. And well, <clears throat> because a few of us got this knowledge, we have to tell the people that's what happened. Run to the Mosai or run to these things. Run to the Mosai or run to the ley line. You know, it's it is that's it. It's simple. And you know our people, they don't listen. This could be one of our sisters. A mother, a wife, a, 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 a auntie, but hey, things like that happen. This is all of the most I mean. Properly, the way we want to. Drayton leaves behind a young son. Why? Five. JC on Kennedy, only five years old, who has been asking for his mommy. And just today he asked me to call his mom. And what am I to say to him? How do I explain that to him? You know? It's not fair, it's not right, and he doesn't deserve that, and neither did she. Drayton's family members are hoping someone may have seen what happened and can help police solve this case. Bring them the answers and closures they are so desperately searching for. I just please need some answers. That way when my grandson grow up, I can say something to him, I see, can explain. You see, this is the innocent of this kid face. He has no idea what's going on. He doesn't possess the the... the <sighs> the mental capability to understand that your mother has been brutally murdered, okay, well, killed, so to speak. He doesn't understand this. He, he just thought somehow his mom is sick or his, his mom runs somewhere, okay? This is horrible, man, but this is the most I mean. There's nothing we can do about this but to keep fasting, praying, and repenting. Of a woman who ran a red light in Sunny Isles Beach and hit a young boy. Oh, remember who was this in the time. crosswalk. Okay. Sadly, the 11 year old did not survive his injuries. A memorial for him was held yesterday. Meanwhile, we have disturbing new information about that driver's history behind the wheel. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live with more. Terrell. Well, first, that 11 year old victim, we know that he was on a skateboard with his family just trying to cross this street here in Sunny Isles Beach. Meanwhile, the driver who police believe caused all of this by running that red light. We've learned that she has at least 27 traffic related violations. Bridget. Twenty-seven citation, brethren, and that person license wasn't taken away. Well, up until now, when he killed that little boy, eleven-year-old boy, and remember, brothers, Sunny Isle is a hesh community. Now, lately, the hesh kids been running over Brooklyn. The school buses are running them over. The the van and you know, those are regular people. Let, let's see what's going on here because I don't know how this person looked. This is the first time watching this. Let's go. Uh, that she was cited for throughout the years, even prior to this fatal incident. Okay. Okay. Since uh, we're going to take, the, we're gonna make this video last. Let's watch this right there. This is plate number six. Okay. Increase of hail and snow. So this is in Florida. This is in Daytona. All right. Remember, they had that uh, motorcycle stuff over there in Daytona, and then boom, this happened. So yeah. All right. This is in Daytona, Florida. Hailstorm like we pre predicted so okay let us let us close with this all right let us close with that Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
The impact that ultimately claimed the life of little 11-year-old Anthony Resnick happened nearly a month ago, but the driver of the red Mercedes 32-year-old Samantha Toussaint has yet to be charged. Okay, Samantha Toussaint, this sounds like uh, like one of my people. It, uh, it should. Yeah, man, hang on. Let me see. Let me see. Do, do, do. Samantha. Oops. Okay. Yeah. There you go. It's, it has to be one of my people. Where's the faces? Really? No, they haven't. They put the boy face. Okay, David Ovile. Okay. But, uh, I mean, let me hear the name again. Two-year-old Samantha Toussaint has yet to be yeah. charged criminally, even though police say she ran a red light that night and okay. hit the boy as he crossed the street in a crosswalk with his family near A1A and Northeast 163rd Street. Okay. Along the way, they stand with us. Oh, Anthony's boy. mother, who held a vigil for her deceased son yesterday, has been pushing for prosecutors to file yep. charges in the case. Sorry. And now we're learning the driver had a rocky past on the road leading up to the crash. We found past citations for... Yeah, that's this is one. Uh, yeah, that's just one of the. Wow, they really everything. <laughs> oh wow, I can't find this person. Look, oh okay, it's Samantha. Yes, yes, it's not Samantha. It's Samantha Ketia to say. Yeah, it's one. It's one of us. Let me see. Okay, Samantha. Oh, they they are Ketia. Well, she scrub. She scrub her. Um. Oh, she scrub. Uh, uh, she's called uh, uh, social media. Okay. Let me see if I can. Usually those things are easily found. She, she, there you go. I knew I could have found. No, those are missing kids. Damn it. What the hell is going on here? Uh, let's see Katya. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. She's called the, the social media, man. Okay. Oh man. Let me see this. Let me see this Instagram. No. That's not her. Oh, I don't wanna see anything else, brothers. You you really don't wanna go on Instagram and then see stuff like that, you know. Certain things they will post in there. You might see some certain okay. You no, know, this cover. She got a pretty good lawyer. Okay, she got a pretty good lawyer, alright? Okay, she got a pretty good lawyer. They they scrub her off the internet. You really can't find her. But damn, they pretty much would ever they 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 left this girl out. She was born in uh, 1988. She's 32 years old. She was born on March 16. Is that what that is? March 16, 1988. She's uh, black. Okay, female, five foot two. Uh, this is a driver license. Wow, they read. <laughs> They really didn't like that sister. She was driving a 2008 Cadillac, four-door red, uh, Florida, uh, year 2018. Oh, I thought it was in 2000. Yeah, okay, 2018, that's the tag expire in 2018. Wow. Man, they really want that person out. Samantha Ketia, two cents. Okay, two cents has been all sent. You know, that's, that's, that's one of the sisters. 27. Wow. Okay, let us move in then. For speeding through a school zone in Pembroke Pines, another for following too closely behind a vehicle. There are multiple infractions from careless driving to not having proof of insurance across South Florida courts. And in Miami-Dade alone, a long laundry list of oh. moving violations throughout the years include... Look at this. That's so of those people, man. They're all reckless, man. So reckless man those those are reckless driving impatient they they like they don't stop for red light they they oh man they, they really put that sister out like that <laughs> Well, this is not funny, but wow. Including seven separate citations for driving on a suspended license. Infractions that date okay, back. Okay, so, all right. So, a license, okay, they did got her. So, a license got suspended. So, wow. She been going through this since 2009. Like, yo. Oh, man, since 2009. 
to at least 2007. Oh, 2007. Records show Toussaint still owes big fines for some of those past driving citations, but so far there's no word on if that female driver with such a bad driving record was legally behind the wheel at no, the time of I the deadly collision, was. an incident that has put Anthony's family oh, through an indescribable nightmare. Oh. It's not even pain. I um, thank God for that feeling of numbness. Oh, no, 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 of course not. Uh, Ina Trachtenberg, the Goldberg, the Bilderberg, the... yeah, ish. Because if it wouldn't be for numbness, no words can describe. Oh, okay. And little Anthony was laid to rest just last month. We know okay, all right, well, we're done with this. Brothers, 27. <laughs> wow. Don't, don't drive in Florida, brothers. Don't drive in Florida. Okay. 27, still on the road. No more chat resulted in death. Yeah, this is all other privileged than one case. Uh, rest in peace, young man. <laughs> That's... Uh, I, I, I worried your name is Black Jesus. <laughs> that is good. See, Gentiles like to do that. They like to take a name that, like, look how people and then put a comment like this so they can say, oh, you, 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 get the hell out of here, man. Hey, man, this is the most size, brothers and sisters. The fast going to be up uh, tomorrow's at, uh, tomorrow's the last day, 40th day, uh, 40th day. So everything is doing pretty well. Everything is doing pretty good. Okay, tomorrow is our 30, 40th day we, we're done, okay? So, uh, at sundown, I'm going to come up uh, with the uh, with uh, the, with the podcast. So, we're going to take the most high. We're just going to chill in the podcast and everybody going to call and then tell about their, you know, their spiritual attack or things that they went through the fast, okay? So, um, what did you went through the fast? Let us know in the comment or you can call us tonight. Well, is it tonight? Yes, tonight is already. Oh no, not tonight. Tomorrow night. It's always still eleven sixteen. All praises to the Most High Yahweh, brothers and sisters. Our Father is great. Our Father is big. You know, give him all praises and all credits. Okay, uh, there'll be no Jacob's trouble, as you can see in the in the beginning of this video. Uh, we we are not being dragged out of our house. And then they are not forcing this thing upon you. And those people are saving their own asses, you know, instead of them trying to save you. Because you see them, they are all, they, they are invading the hood so they can take the vaccine. That is right there in the hood. Our people, it's not, it's not, it's not loading up. Those people are, are tripping themselves to go get this thing. You know, but yeah, peace, brothers. That, that has nothing to do with you. You don't need none of this garbage. The most I got you covered. Be at peace. Stay in your spiritual hospital. Enjoy. Praise the most I. Remember to always fast, pray, repent, repeat. Shalom. May the king, the most I, reign forever.